So for today, we're going to be looking at the Omega Mechanos chest piece. If you guys don't know, we've already done a lot of the other ones, specifically like everything but the helmet. Uh, the helmet should be coming out by tomorrow. So that video will not or the helmet video will be coming out probably Monday. Let's be real. I keep fucking it. like I've been saying I've been wanting to do it on Friday. I haven't done it by Friday, but most likely we will be the helmet one will be coming out by uh, Monday which means we're going to be doing the review video plus the shader video by Friday for sure, because I'm going to be working on that as fast as I can. Um, and then we'll see about doing the class specific videos just because I've already done most of these, but I would like to just have all of the armor sets in one video just for posterity reasons. But yeah, if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, it really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, like, comment, sub, hit the bell notification because that also does help. Other than that, let's get into it. So to start off, I am not the biggest fan of this chess piece, specifically for the hunters and the warlocks, just because shadering wise, they're absolutely terrible. That being said, I actually don't mind this set a lot. Actually, I kind of like this set just because it does look really cool. Uh, for the helmet veteran legend cast for the exotic we're going to be using the mechanaires trick sleeve for the chest piece obviously omega mechanos vest for the boots hard ambassadors leg guards and then for the cloak diamond spawn cloak so i actually really like this one specifically because in my head this almost looks kind of like a runner uh uh delivering messages and whatnot kind of like a mirror's edge type of thing the only annoying part is the fact that the chest piece has that big ass plate that being said it kind of makes sense considering like it protects all of your almost almost all of your vital organs so for me i'm like that's fine like it looks fine to me at least and yeah i think this one is pretty cool for the shader and dreaming spectrum is what we're using specifically because the the navy blue on the sides of the stomach specifically like the sides does not change color unfortunately which is very very aggravating because i actually really like this chest piece but unfortunately because it shaders that way it does limit my selection of shaders quite a bit because I don't see a lot of navy blue in a lot of shaders, so that's really unfortunate. But I actually really like this one a lot, like more so than I really thought. If I'm being honest though, I would switch out the chest piece immediately for something else because again, I don't like the breastplate. I feel like it's way weird combined with everything else because the boots, the arms do not have plate armoring and the cloak only has that like weird part on the back, which I could, I could like, I can talk myself into thinking like that's fine considering like oh yeah it's protecting the back of your neck which you know that's dangerous if you get hurt there um and i think the helmet is really cool so overall i like this set a lot but i would just switch out the chest piece for literally almost anything else at this point because again the shadering just really pisses me off the only part that i know people will find annoying is the heart and basilisk leg guards because this is a season pass ornament which means it's not available currently so if you were to ask me like what would i switch out for this i would just switch out something that doesn't have armor plating and just looks like something that you would run comfortably in so something like that would be cool think your think about your tactical sets that would be really cool uh diamond spawn boots would be a really good choice just because a lot of it is cloth but the knees i think have like knee guards which are metal but other than that i think that would be really good um and i don't have a, a personal problem with combining two pieces from the same set three pieces and up that's where my problem begins so hunters let me know what you guys think about this one as for the next set titans your omega mechanos plate chess piece is so so cool because it takes shaders really really well and i immediately was like okay i know what i want to do i want to do a vex meets like juggernaut type of feel which i make makes no sense in my head but this is what i came up with so obviously for the exotic the bellinus boosters ornament for the lion ramparts was an easy choice just because i do like the fact that the boots and the chest combined together really really cool i will say the males look a little bit better just because the boots and the chest piece look equal when you see the the females it looks like just a little weird because the boots are super super thick and then the chest piece is just really small so that's what i mean when i say like the males just look a little bit better uh for the arms we're going to be using the hardened basilisk gauntlets the mark is the mechanized protector mark and then for the helmet it's the new helmet that we got from episode uh echo which i don't know if, we, if that's going to stay or not hopefully it does because i do think this armor is super dope but this one is super cool for the shadering and refurbished black armor is what we're using specifically because I wanted uh, some red in here. 
but I didn't want it to be the main color because the reason why I want red is because there is some red pieces on the Belenis boosters that don't change color. And I wanted the eyeball to be red so that way A looks very theme to a Vex, but also because it has red that will go well with the boots. So overall, I really like this set. It's like probably one of my favorites, for, or actually it is my favorite from this from this video because the other two are just not at the same caliber. I think this one is above those two for sure. Um, I will say, funnily enough, the Hardened Basilisk Gauntlets will piss people off because this is the same ornament that I use for the Hunters. That being said, this is the arms. Um, Honestly, I would just switch out the arms for anything that looks mechanical. So think about mechanized, the mechanized protector arms would be really cool. Um, specifically, the one that came to mind that would be really cool would be the X7 Moonfang arms. That being said, you, that one shaders really terribly because one side is a different color to the other. So that would be annoying. But if you do find a good shader for it, that's going to be the shader you're going to go for because yeah, or that is going to be the arms you're going to go for because that would, that one's going to look really, really cool. But I actually really like this one. Um, unfortunately, it's using nine ramparts, which I don't use personally that much. That being said, I know some people are going to love this one. Let me know what you guys think. And last but not least, we're going to be using the Omega Mechanos robes now. This one's interesting. I don't hate it. Um, I just hate the chest piece itself, but I did try my best. It's not like I half assed this. I definitely did try my best. And I do think this is decent for the helmet arc light hood in combination with the alternate conduction ornament for the Geoma X stabilizers is a good combo because both the head and the boots have that electrical feel, which is kind of the theme that I was going for. The street scholar gloves combined with the Omega Mechanos robes is what a good combo because the armor on the left side for the uh, street scholar gloves goes well with that left side and then the mobile exoskeleton bond because i didn't want one side to be heavy which is the left side so that's why i chose a really bulky mar or bond so that way it evens it out so for the shadering descendant vex chrome specifically because this is the shader that's on the actual Me omega mechanos robes and I don't hate this look. It's fine. It's decent. I definitely would never wear the Omega Mechanos robes, though. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't think I'll ever wear this armor. I only got it so that way I can complete the collection. But I think this chest piece is by far one of the worst the Warlocks have in their arsenal. Probably the worst chest piece I've ever seen because there is really no good thing about this chest piece. The, Like I said in the beginning, um, that like, or not beginning, where? Where did I say this? I think I said it in the last call video for for yesterday, but uh, the light blue lines don't change color. The like design on the cloth, specifically the dick cloth, does not change color. The, pl the plate armor on the left side, the shoulder pad, uh, because it has rust on the actual armor itself, you will notice that the armor looks weird when you combine it with certain shaders. And yeah, overall, this, this chest piece is fucking trash. So yeah, Warlocks, I apologize, but you guys more know more. You guys know more than anyone else that your chest piece is do or die. And if it's bad, it, it's no, there's no saving it. So very unfortunate. But let me know what you guys think about these sets. Again, I want to make these so that way I don't have to wait until all of the armor is gone and you guys missed your chance. I want to show you what you can do with the armor so that way you guys can see if you guys want it or not because that is something that i kind of noticed that i dropped the ball on with the other armor sets that I, they were reselling is the fact that i should have done these so that way you guys can see what that armor can actually do so let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys coming to this point be safe i'll see you guys later